One of the things I hear developers talk about when they're using Git is Git Bash. And they want to work with their repositories. So they will install something like PuTTY to, to give them a uh, access, an SSH access to their system. But there are other ways. You can do that directly in RDI. There is a command line available in RDI that you can use and execute Git commands. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So I have another view called Terminal, which you may or may not be familiar with. It doesn't appear in the default drop down like this. I have to go to other, just like that. Now, there was terminals in the previous window, but that's not the one you want. You want to type in the word terminal itself. You can see I already have it there. And also, you might notice that I have two here. Why do I have that? That's because in my particular installation of Eclipse, I installed yet another plugin called TM Terminal. That'll be a different discussion. But for now, you, you'll more than likely have only the one terminal. Click on that, say OK, and that will give you a view right on the bottom, just like that. I'll move it up so you can see it there. There it is. If you want, you can certainly come over here and create another terminal view and give it a different name. I call mine Terminal A, but how about for this example, I call mine Terminal B now. So I'll type in Terminal B just like that. SSH, there it is. And this, is, this of course, is going to now create another connection to IBMI using SSH. There's my user ID. I'll type in my password over here. That's going in. Click on OK. You'll notice that I'm using port 22. That's fine. OK. It's now connecting. And now I want to bring up Bash, go into Bash, I should say. So now I am officially now, I have an SSH connection using Bash. Let me give you a little bit of background what's happening here. So to do this, you, you need to have installed on, IB, on your IBMI system, you need to have, obviously you need to have Bash installed. You need to have Git installed. Now the way you're going to do that, there are many places you can search on online you want to use yum to do that which is what I use to install it and uh, you don't want to use the OPS license program anymore you want to get the yum versions into your system which is good uh, eventually you're going to also want to have git or egit really installed into RDI and if you're using RDI 9.6 you should have the git perspective already if you don't here I can type in here it is over here it is over here git and this is the git perspective as you can see over here but if you don't have it you can click on help and go to the eclipse marketplace like I just did and I'll drag that over here so now you can see it and type in egit which I'm doing right now and you search is my go and eventually it will find egit there it is right here, egit. You would install this plugin into RDI and you should be good to go. That will give you the ability to use Git features directly in RDI. But let's go back to my command line. So just, just to show you a quick example here, here is PWD. It's showing me that I'm now in, I'm in the IFS right now, in my home directory in the IFS, which is exactly where I want to be. If I wanted to create an, a new repository, I'll just do it like this. I'll make directory and I'll call it git source B for no other reason. Git source B. And I just created that directory. I can now go into that directory if I want. Git source B, just like that. Here's some confirmation. If I want to actually now make that a Git repository, I can say Git init, and I'll make it a bare repository, repository, just like that. I now have that in there, and I officially now have in the IFS a Git repository called Git source B. Now, the next logical step would be to probably populate that with source that I can then, I could then copy that repository and things like that, but that's enough for this video. I just wanted to show you some basic information about Git. More importantly, not so much about Git per se, but that you can do command line directly in RDI using the terminal view. So stay tuned. There will be more down the road. And thank you for your watching of this video. We'll speak again. Bye now.